Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have already shown you how to fetch the data from the Firebase database and show that in the Recycler view. Here you can see this, the data is being shown in the Recycler view. So if you have not watched that video, then just go to description, there I put the link from my previous video or you can simply do one thing, just click on the suggestion on the right side of your screen. Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to show you, I'm going to implement a search box over here so that we can search the uh, any student by name. So I've implemented that in the F phase. So let me show that. Here you can see this, this is F phase, the data is being fetched. And here we have this one. If I want to search for Rohit, then if I type like this, then Rohit is visible. For R, two names are there. If I cut this, no one is visible. Sorry, everything is visible when this search box is clear. Okay, so let's start implementing this one. So let me minimize this first. Okay, so this is our F base video inside this one. Nothing is implemented for now. Here you can see this. There is no search box. This is where we left in the last video. So let's start with that. First thing what we have to do is we have to add one folder inside this package so click on new select the directory and i'm going to name this one menu hit enter inside this menu i'm going to add new menu resource file click on this and i'm going to name this one search and click on ok this will add a file like this click on split and here we you find the code so here we have to write some line of codes so that will be the item and item i'm going to set the id for this one search after this i have to set some icon so before we set the icon we have to actually create a layout drawable for this one so right click click on new travel resource file not drawable resource file actually right click click on new vector asset click on this one type here search click on this one click on ok and change the name something which you like so i'm going to change this one to search underscore icon and click on next and click on finish and here you can see this for search icon the code is already added inside this one so let me close this search.xml and here we have to set the icon so icon will be drawable search icon this one after this we have to set the title for this so i'm going to set the title search and i'm going to show as action and you can set if room always always means that search box uh, search box will be visible over here and if room if there are so many options over here then if there is space then only this will be visible so i want to show if i select this never so always this will be under this three dots okay i will change it and i will show you action view class you have to search for that here we have and fit kit search view and we have to convert this into android x so we have to just write app on, like this one and we have to remove this android part okay so not like this i have uh, so as action i have did never for now we i'm going to change this later okay so after this now our designing part for this one is ready so next thing what we have to do is we have to move to the main class main activity for now if i start this one let's see what will what it will show so for now it's not showing anything over here so let me just minimize this and we have to put uh, sorry add few line of code over here so first thing we have to override one method that is for that alt insert and here we have to override a method we have to search for on create option option menu click on enter and here you can see this on create option menu is over here so here we have to just write few more line of code that is get menu inflator dot inflate and we have to inflate with the id so r dot id dot search we have set the id for this one is not this one yeah search here you can see this so we have to write that 
search and where we have this in menu okay so why this is showing an error let me just check that resource file in flight okay it's not r dot id it's r dot menu okay so now this is fine after this we have to create object of menu item this one and item is equal to menu dot find item and inside this one we have to pass the id so r dot id dot search and after this we have to create a search view search view is equal to and we have to typecast into search view and item dot get action view like this and finally we have to create set on query text listener for that we have to apply that on search view dot set on query listener and now new search view and when you type this you will find this first one on query text listener in this bracket curly braces just double click on this and this will write few line of code for you that is two methods over there and inside these two methods we have to create we have to actually write something before we write anything inside this one first we have to create one method so i'm going to create one method so private void and i'm going to name this method txt search and inside this one this will take one variable string str this is our method and inside this one we have to actually copy this code this code actually being fetched and this is being actually fetching the data from the firebase database and which we are using to show into the recycler view so i'm going to take that code from there and finally what we have to do is we have to actually change few lines of code over here so after this child and the student we have to write dot order by child and we have to pass the column name so i'm going to we are going to actually search by name so i have to write some names okay so i minimize this part and start at uh, start at str dot end at str plus and we have to write like this this is the end character so we have to put some character over there okay so order by child and start this is a str whatever text being passed from here will be according to that data will be fetched okay so we have to make some changes over here so that will be we'll do five is like the view everything is fine we don't need to make any changes okay so here we have to write main adapter is equal to new main adapter and inside this one we have to pass the options this one okay after this we have to set start listening main adapter dot start listening recycler view we have to set the adapter inside this one so main adapter again we have to set this now our method is ready after this what we have to do is we have to just simply call the method inside this one okay so inside this one txt search and we have to pass the query this query and again i'm going to copy this and move back over here paste it over here it will show an error i'm going to change this one and query okay so now everything is ready so let's check this if this one is working or not so start this and here we go here you can see this there are three dots when i click on this then this search appears so when i click on this one okay this is not cool so move back over here always change this one to always and search here you can see this done not directly magnifies glasses here so we start it again if i click on this now here we have this so if i search for rahul this is r if i type like this a this is anamika and we can actually change this according to if we want to search by email id so you have to just move back over here 
and change this one just change this one to email and now restart and search by email like r a yeah a b c there is no a b c b c d is there yeah b c d here you can see this b c d is an email so we are actually able to find it by the email id you can change accordingly as per your need so i'm going to leave it as name okay so what actually i am going to show over here is what this is so as action if i set it to always so it will be always over here like this one if i change this one to never or if room collapse action view okay so if set this with with text and let's start this and let's see how actually this one look like now here we have the search if i click on this this is not working i will check that out once again but if i change this one to always and if room so there is a space for this one so it will be available over here you can see this okay so i have shown you how actually this function when we change this one the available option we have to change this available option you can check for the other as well so i'm going to set this always for now and just start this and this one is working fine so that's it for the video guys in the next video i'm going to show you how to edit and update the data from android and the data will be edited and updated and deleted as well in the firebase relation real-time database so thanks for watching please subscribe like and share with your friends